In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Tailwind's interval scheduling feature to schedule multiple pins to a variety of boards in a very short amount of time. So alternatively to the interval scheduling option, you could always use this add to queue. The only time I go ahead and just do add queue is if I'm only pinning this pin to one board. Anytime you have multiple boards that you want this pin to go to, which most likely should be every time, you want to do the interval option, which will show up right here at the bottom. If you don't do the interval option and you have, you know, 10 boards selected and you hit add to queue, what will happen is over here in your schedule, it will multiply this pin by each, you know, whatever number of boards you had selected and have them pinned back to back to back, just, you know, minutes apart, which to Pinterest can be viewed as spammy behavior and could flag you and ultimately suspend you, which we definitely don't want that happening. So in order to prevent that from happening, Tailwind has created a feature called interval scheduling. So let's dig in and I'll show you how it works. So for this example, I've created three different pin designs that will lead to the blog post that will have this tutorial video on it. Uh, one of the things that you want to make sure when you're creating new pins in Tailwind is that you're updating the pin source URL. When you drag and drop your pin designs into the Tailwind draft publisher, it will by default put your homepage in here to your website, the website that the account is set up on. So what you want to do is make sure you update that like this one here, it's going to my interval scheduling and tailwind blog post. So you want to make sure you update that. You want to add your optimized um, keyword rich titles and pin descriptions with your call to action and your branding all in there. And then go ahead and add your boards. So what I do is create a variety of different board lists. Now these can be done over here on the left hand side. Um, I've already created some, but anytime I make a tutorial video, I have a board list that that will fit into. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and you'll see it puts all 10 of those boards here. Alternatively, I could drag and select each one individually, but to save time and be more productive, I'm going to go ahead and use my board list. Another thing to note here is when you're using your board list, it's going to put those boards in the exact same order every time. As you can see, the Halcyon Hive um, board first, Pinterest marketing, and so on, they'll all be the same. If you want to have those in a different order, you need to create separate board lists for each of them. So I could create the Halcyon Hive tutorials two or three, you know, create a couple different versions. But the one thing I wanna note when you're selecting your boards for um, pinning, you want to pin to the most relevant board first. Uh, but not only that, I also look at my boards that get the most engagement. And if the most engaged board is also a very relevant board, then I will go ahead and pin that. So the Halcyon Hive um, Pinterest marketing board is my main brand board. So all of my content will go into that board and it's my most engaged board on my account. So I'm going to start with that one, um, but you can always mix these up with different board lists or by adding them in individually. So now that we have our pins and our boards selected, um, I do want to add these to my tribes to get extra reach. You want to do that before you schedule them. I'm just going to do one of them and now we're going to do intervals. So what you'll see here is this use interval button and you'll click on it and it'll default. Schedule the first pin at, and it's usually whatever the first open slot might be, and it'll default to seven days in between each pin. So that means that a pin will be pinned, you know, at this scheduled time, and then seven days later, it'll go to the next board, as you can see down here, and seven days later, and so on. Now, these, as you can see, are all getting pinned at the exact same time every week. Uh, we 
want to mix it up a little bit because your audience is on Pinterest at different times of the day. So I am actually going to drag this a little bit down to get some different times. I like to keep it in the six to seven day uh, interval, but just kind of play with it until you, here I've got a variety of times now, um, and we'll go with that. So we're going to hit set interval, and then and we'll hit schedule, and then you'll see over here that it bumped that in there. So there's one here, seven days later, well, I've got a few others scheduled. So. They're all spaced out. The other thing that I do is I like to start them out on different days, just so they're not all going back to back. So because this one started on May 20, or that first one started out on May 26, this next one I might do one or two days later. So maybe we'll say, we'll just do one day later for this. We'll start that on the 27th. So then our intervals are getting staggered from each other. And then this one will space it out. So if I'm creating a variety of pins for one blog post or one product. I don't want to pin them all on one day, even if the pin designs are different. I like to space them out a little bit, uh, different times of day, different days, uh, just to see how they perform and to keep a consistent schedule or activity rather on your uh, Pinterest. So. That is how you use interval scheduling in Tailwind to schedule out multiple pins to a variety of boards all at once.